Democratic Congresswoman Sharice Davids was reelected Tuesday in Kansas. She won by over 12 points in a suburban district outside Kansas City that was gerrymandered by the Republican-controlled state legislature to make it even harder for her to win. Joining us now is Democratic Congresswoman Sharice Davids. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, uh, because you you are <laughs> you have the answer to the question that all the rest of us sitting out here in the other states are marveling at. How does a Democrat win in Kansas? <laughs> well, it's good to see you. Um, look, I think I actually I think that. Uh, the way we ran this campaign, first of all, I never take anything for granted. And I think I've said this before, I don't stop until the bell rings. Um, and I think that people can tell that I'm here to, I want. I wanted this job, I have been doing this job um, to actually focus on the work. And I think that people can see that and they care about that. And um, yes, the district absolutely uh, looks different. Uh, we've got more rural areas than we had before. And I had the same approach. I go to every part of the district. I talk to everybody. I listen to learn so that I can be the best representative for this district that I possibly can be. And it turns out people people care about that. <laughs> so how did you feel when you when you got the information of exactly how your district would be redistricted? I know there are members of Congress who sit there and, and their lives pass before their eyes because they think I, I can't win. Some of them decide not to even run. Uh, and then others stare at it and try to figure out uh, how to handle this the, this new territory. Uh, was it was it did, did it look like something that you could handle as soon as you saw it, or did you have to work your way into to realizing you could do it? Um, oh, you know that's a really good question. I think I definitely think because it was so clearly. Um, more of a, there were more rural parts of the district. I knew that I was absolutely going to have to, well, definitely spend more time on the road, um, but also really learn a lot more about uh, the agricultural uh, pieces because there's more farmers and growers and producers in this district than there were before. And, um, and I think that it, I think it really pays off to show up, uh, to listen so you can learn. And I think people know when you're showing up uh, without assumptions, without, uh, you know, preconceived ideas about what they care about, what they um, need. And, you know, I often say, uh, assume I know nothing. And it's a kind of a Congress joke. Because uh, Congress people don't know everything already, you gotta you gotta listen to be able to do that. And and I think that I th I think that that mattered. And then you know I got onto the Agriculture Committee as soon as I could because the Farm Bill is coming up next year. And if you want to talk about a must pass bill that is absolutely important for the state of Kansas and for the Kansas Third, it's the Farm Bill. And we don't yet know which party will be in control of the House of Representatives, but. Uh, farm bills and agriculture committee work is historically very bipartisan. Uh, do you expect that to continue uh, no matter which party is in control? Yeah, absolutely. And I know for sure I'm going to be trying to trying to do as much bipartisan work there as possible. You know, uh, we have uh, Repu I have a Republican colleague who is in the Kansas delegation, Tracy Mann. He represents the first district. He's on the Agriculture Committee. And I fully expect that we're going to be working together to make sure that uh, that that the farmers here in Kansas are um, are are being listened to and heard when we're when we're working on that bill. Congresswoman Sharice Davids, you make it look easy. You make it look like, well, of course. Sure she won in, in Kansas. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. I'm sure you have a lot to teach your Democratic colleagues when you get back uh, to Washington about what it's like to win as a Democrat in Kansas. Thank you very much.